the great family of mythology, the House of Atreus. The House of Atreus is one of the most famous families in mythology, and it is belonged to Agamemnon and all of his immediate family, his wife Clytemestra, his children Iphigenia, Orestes, and Electra. Agamemnon also has a brother named Limenelius, who was the husband of Helen, for whose sake the Trojan War was fought. The house of Atreus was an ill fated house. The cause of all the misfortunes was held to be an ancestor, a king of Lydia named Tantalus, who brought upon himself a most terrible punishment by a most wicked deed. That was not the end of the matter. The evil he started went on after his death. His descendants also did wickedly and were punished. A curse seems to hang over the family, making men sin in spite of themselves and bringing suffering and death down upon the innocents as well as the guilty. Tantalus and Ayubi Tantalus was a mortal son of Zeus, who was greatly honored by the gods and often invited to feast with them on Olympus. And then one day, Tantalus inexplicably killed his son Pelops, cooks him and serve him to the gods. No one knows why Tantalus hated the gods so much that he wanted to punish them by making them cannibals. Because of his arrogance, Tantalus wanted to show that he could trick the gods. But suddenly, the Olympians immediately recognized the horrible face before them. So, the gods sent Tantalus to be eternally punished in Hades pool, where he stands in a pool of water with fruits hanging over him. But whenever he wanted to take a drink, the water disappeared. When he would try to grab a fruit, the wind would blow them higher. So after Tantalus being sent to Hades full, the gods restore Pelops to life. But they have to make him an ivory shoulder because one of the goddesses accidentally ate a bite of Tantalus' food. Nayubi, Tantalus' daughter, received the full brunt of her father's scars. Her life is successful at first as she marries Jew's son Amphion. They has seven brave sons and seven beautiful daughters and lives in a fortified city of Thebes. She thought that she can deceive the god and demands that the people worship her instead of Leto and she take the goddess temple as her own. To punish this arrogance, Apollo and Artemis immediately kill Nayubi's 14 children in front of her. Then they tore Nayubi into a stone that weeps forever in the eternal grief so that the rock is always wet. Agamemnon and his children Agamemnon's Atreus son is the next generation of sorrow. Homer first mentions Agamemnon's tragedy in the Odyssey. Agamemnon is killed by his wife lover Aegisthus. The story later changes subtly and becomes a new incarnation of the twisted vengeance and justice of the house of Atreus. Agamemnon sacrifices his oldest daughter Iphigenia to make the winds favor to the Greek ship on their way to Troy. While he was away, his wife Clytemestra had taken a lover, Aegisthus, and had also been plotting revenge against her husband for their daughter's death. Agamemnon returns victorious carrying with him Cassandra, the properties who is never believed. All the people of Mycenae have a forbidding of evil because of Agamemnon's cursed family, and Cassandra rambles about the past atrocities, bloodshed always causing more bloodshed, finally prophesying her own death and Agamemnon's, but she and Agamemnon still enter the palace. Cassandra sees the bloody past and future of the family, but as usual, she cannot change fate. The door shut behind them and Clytemnestra and Aegisthus kill them. Clytemnestra does not see this murder as a crime but only as just retribution for the death of Evigenia. Aegisthus, who is the son of Theestes, had no quarrel with Agamemnon but was punishing him for the sins of his father's Atreus. That's why he had some urge to kill Agamemnon. They think that they have ended the cycle of bloodshed with their actions but totally not. Electra and Orestes was a child of Agamemnon, and Pilots was their cousin. Both of them wanted to do vengeance for their father's death. Orestes and Pilots pretend to be a messenger's relying news of Orestes' death, and they are welcomed into the palace, where they begin to fight. Clytemnestra is warned of Orestes' coming moments before he encounters her. 
She begs him to spare her life, but Orestes reluctantly faces his fate and kills his mother and then Aegisthus. When Orestes emerges from the palace, he starts to see the forest pursuing him, demanding vengeance for his mother's death. Finally, he is sent by Apollo to appeal to Athena. Then Orestes confesses his guilt and Athena accepts his plea. With her mercy, the Furies themselves change, transforming into the Eumenides, protector of the suppliant. With Orestes' acquittal, the course of the house of Atreus is finally broken. My reflection, the house of Atreus. The house of Atreus are a well-known family in ancient myth for having been cursed by the gods. The course was begun with Atreus, grandfather Tantalus, who angered the gods because of what he had done, which is serving his own child Pelops to the gods and goddesses. Because of his doings, he was sent by the gods to the pool of Hades to be eternally punished, which make him tantalize. In Niobe's case, she was the one who suffered the worst fate because of his father Tantalus. She was the wife of Amphion and he has 14 children, he has 7 handsome sons and 7 beautiful daughters. Because of her discontented personality, she wanted all people in the Thebes to worship her instead of Leto. Because she thought she was a best mother than Leto. She thought she could trick the gods but because of her arrogance, his children was killed by Apollo and Artemis. She was hurt and cried out with grief, which turned her into stone with a whip of her tears. In the story of Agamemnon and his children, Agamemnon was the king of Mycenae who sacrificed his daughter Iphigenia, which made her wife to do the vengeance towards him because of her daughter Iphigenia. When Agamemnon was still away, his wife Clytemistra had taken an affair or a lover to Aegisthus. When Agamemnon came back to the palace, Clytemistra welcomed him and suddenly killed him. Then Electra and Orestes, son and daughter of Agamemnon, plot a vengeance towards her mother Clytemistra for their father's death. Together with Orestes' cousin Pilates, they fulfill the bait of Apollo, which is to kill Clytemistra and Aegisthus. After that incident, Orestes thought that his mother Clytemistra sent a bunch of women to follow him. He became a wanderer. Because of that, he was sent by Apollo to the temple of Artemis. Then he confesses his guilt to Athena. Did Athena accepted his plea? Because of that, he became acquitted, and all of evil spirit was banished to their house, and the course was finally ended. In addition of sharing my opinion in this story, I can say that the house of Atreus was really an ill fitted. It is a house where everybody wanted to do vengeance and wanted more power and attention. What I learned in this story is, if you really make your emotion carry you away, it will bring you to the wrong destination where it will make your family hated you the most.